Okay, hey you guys, so what's up? Welcome back, my niece sweets. I have been planned on doing a sim symbology, not symbology, a like symbolism and ritual breakdown of the um, Super Bowl performance with the weekend, okay? Now he told y'all it's been seven years now he's been swimming with the sharks. And if you have went and looked at his videos and stuff, he is talking about his ritual um sacrifice of his soul for riches and fame to the industry okay but anyway so let's get into this what what um the demon holding the weekend had him up to so in the super bowl if you can see that um this is representative of vegas the city of lights or whatever and then he went and showed us this, right? So, in the city of lights, Sin City, they call it Sin City for a reason. Because every vice known to man, every sin known to mankind, takes place and is at your leisure in Vegas, okay? That's why anything that happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. That's why um, it is a demonic portal, okay? The, the, the demons love to play there. I call Hollywood Satan's bedroom. Um, Vegas would be his living room. Okay. So it is showing you Satan, as we all know, is a fallen angel. He fell from heaven. So they showed you in the opening the fallen angel coming down, descending onto the earth, into the city of lice, right? Um, and the weekend, he was in his car in his vehicle. And he showed up to meet Satan. Well, that's who he met when he showed up. We ain't going to say that he um, went there to meet Satan. But that's who was there when the weekend showed up in the city of lights in, in um, Las Vegas and city. And then, after or as he's ascending, it shows you in the background all these other angels with red eyes. Can y'all see that? Sorry if that light from right there, right there. But anyway, y'all see that? They had red eyes. They had their arms like this. And as you see, I don't know if those are hoodies that they had on or what. But what they were trying to show you and what this is supposed to represent are angels. Those are angels. And as Satan is ascending, his fallen angels, these demons, that's why they have red eyes. That's why their arms like this. They are praising. They are lifting up and awaiting the arrival of Satan, their God. Right? And um, Satan does plan to make a grand entrance here on earth in a, in a physical form, okay? So, that's what that was showing you right there. And then it showed this part. Satan, the um, light barrier. Except his fall from grace, he, he gives a false light. He's a false light barrier. So, it shows... Oh, crap, this shitty camera. So, it shows them raising their... Demonic figure has arrived, right? Well, not demonic figure, but Satan has arrived. But what this is also showing to us on this part is him uh, showing himself to us. They seen him for what he is. A fallen, they know who he is. A f their fallen angel, their head chief in charge, these other demons that fell with him. Because um, it said a third of the angels fell from heaven with Satan. They follow behind him. Um, so they know who they're serving and his arrival, they have been on work on earth working against his minions to prepare things for Satan's grand arrival here on earth, right? But now, this is his introduction to us coming as a false light barrier. Open up the um, things, he has his hands up waiting to be worshipped. They have already laid out the red carpet for him, and us, the public, those who are lost, haven't found Christ yet. We'll worship him, worship him, and see him as a true light, as a um, pure vessel, or whatever. So that's what that was showing you that how he will be presented to the public, the people, and sparks will fly. Everyone will be happy, and because I'm, I took these pictures in order of how they um, showed each ritual, each scene of what is to come as well. Okay, so, and that's the people, that's the masses. They're there, and this is their false messiah, who they will come to worship as their God. And, of course, he begins to sing. He has the lights on him. Now, what you see behind him, right, this is the other thing. Those things that was in front of 
these fallen angels, or but I'm going to just say choir, right? Because that's what, to the natural eye, it was. It's just a choir behind them. Those things that were in front of them, those were supposed to have been buildings, right? So they're showing you also that these are false angels because they're giants. Angels are giants. As you know, there was once a time on earth, giants roamed the earth, okay? Um, when they fell from heaven, they were in a physical form here on the earth. So it's showing you the buildings and that these giant angels are there. Oh, that's another thing, just in case you don't know. Um, these fallen angels, these demons or whatever, they have control over certain like regions and places. And that's why certain type of sin or vices can be more prominent in one location versus another. It could be in, in a certain neighborhood, a certain city where the majority of the people in that community have succumbed to whatever the reigning supreme demon is that's over that area. Okay, um, their spirit. But anyway, so those little things were because it's an esoteric and esoteric meaning to them. So the two that I picked up and how I perceived it is, is showing these giants over this city, the fallen angels. Um, but then those also kind of look like tablets to me, or like chips, or something like that. If you go back and look, um, it you can make out like okay, a town city buildings or whatever but it also to me looked like tablets and tombstones and disc and usb not usb ports that's what but you get what i'm trying to say it looked like that to me as well and it made me think of ai another thing with the red eyes because that can be interpreted as right these are demon fallen angels but also um ai robots so I was looking at it on both of those dual because we know that the industry works in duality, right? You have the natural and the spiritual. You have evil and good. You have the surface level and then the deeper level of a meaning or thing. So um, I had took them as being fallen angels, giants over the city. And then I also took it as them being um, AI. And it's dealing with technology as well. And AI says for artificial intelligence, for those who don't know. So basically, like, they were robots, not just um, fallen angels, right? But this other thing I want to tell you. When they were stripped, when the angels were stripped of their physical form to be here on earth, um, God stripped them of that. And that's why he flooded the earth, because they were in their physical form, having sex with men, having sex with women, creating children that were never supposed to be, hybrids and all of that. Um, so God stripped them of a physical body. So they're only in their spirit form. Well, if they want to be back on earth in a physical form, what would be the perfect thing for them to be a host of? If we know that demons possess mankind, human beings, right, then they can possess objects as well and the uh, a robot will be even better for them to possess due to the fact mankind us humans we still have free will we still can be delivered they still have to struggle and go to war with us to have full dominance over our being well with them being in a robot as a host for their spirit it can only do what they program it wanted to do remember that so that's the other reason why i looked at it like oh okay Y'all talking AI as well because them fallen angels will be into these artificial bodies, these androids, these robots, and stuff like that. Let's move along. And you see that? What do that look like to you? Because they showing you crap this to it. Okay, you can see it from right there. Angels. Don't that look like angels or birds with wings? Ain't that what they look like? So this is once he come. Now they don't look like the demons that, that they showed us in the beginning. And where Satan falling, which is the truth of what they are, then it show him coming out how they presenting it to us. He's the false messiah, right? He coming out with the white all around them being presented, and they are angels now. They're holy beings rejoicing for him. So as he's pitting on the performance for the world to draw them in, to trick them, the angels, the other fallen angels that um, fill with him, are helping and aiding him and pinning on the show to the people for us to be to deceived to think oh he's a good thing he's a great thing we should embrace him we should embrace them okay mm. and then it was a whole bunch of words right and i kept trying to read off the words i think that some said like um touch some said alone and 
things like that. And all through it, it was negative feelings. So, and that's how Satan works. He tricked people. He present himself um, as being something holy, pure, something good to people. That's how he deceives. But in the end, all you're left with is those feelings of not anything good, right? God comes, Messiah comes, an angel comes. That should be a form of healing, um, wholeness. You will feel whole. You will feel healed. You will feel strengthened. When you have an encounter with God, like uh, the Holy Spirit, you're going to feel whole. You're going to feel strengthened. You're going to feel loved. You're going to feel happy and rejoice. Um, but with Satan, it's a false rejoice. He tricks you, and then you end up realizing, like, why am I sad? Why am I alone? Why am I depressed? Why... And so that's what that is. And then it showed him inside this maze and it's these blinding lights. Because when you're in, have a whole bunch of lights in your face, it's blinding. You can lose your way. That's what Satan does to us. He blinds us. He bombs us with a deception, a false reality of what's really going on, what we're really involved with. And then we're in it and we get confused, we get lost, we get blinded, and we can't find and figure our way out, and we're wondering what's going on. So what he's showing you right there is that that is the process um, of what happened to him and what happens to many of us and that what will happen. Um, God stated that there will be a great falling away from him, and people are going to end up lost, blinded, and falling into Satan's deception because they don't know God and um, hadn't, I'll say, chosen God that for you. Um, just yet so he's in there and he is blinded by the lights um time going and you haven't been at a casino same kind of gets you like that you he reels you in and everything is fun you're having a good time and before you know it you just look up like crap what time is it where am i at that's how satan gets us wrapped up in sin where we'd be like oh, okay i'm about to just go do this one little thing, that's not that bad. Just a little, small, little something, something. And then before you know it, you're overtaken by it and you're fully indulged in it. And you're even farther down the road. And it's not just that now, it's something else. And you're like, how in the hell did I get here? That's Satan's um, deception and tool. But you see, he put feel and then it was nothing on the other side of it. And it's, it, um, that also made me think about how they have constantly been working Satan of course as well but the world um society and this popcorn and um microwave society everything 24 hours you're constantly going and we get so lost and detached from human connection from the things that's most important in life that aren't tangible um by chasing the things that are tangible and by trying to find tangible things to feel our voice that are Untangible. I hope that y'all ain't get y'all lost with saying all that. But um, that's what's going on. So now it shows all these other people show up, right? And they all dress like him. They have the mask on. Well, I ain't gonna call them mask, but we say um, I don't know what to call it other than a mask. So I'm gonna say they had the mask on. But what this is representation of is of followers, right? Um, how all of them now have this same brainwashing. They all have to think about how trans work. That's actually a brainwashing where they pit a celebrity, someone who people worship that they shouldn't idolize, that they shouldn't, and they tell those people to tell their fans, the masses, what's in, what they should have, what to make them cool, what to make them superior, what to make them whole. And then the masses go and follow that, and they all together have been brainwashed and bitten from the same apple so that's all it is all the people who are just as lost following the same false ideology um and caught up in the same thing that's pretty much what this part showed me and then with the masses we know that he was talking about the surgery right because out there in la and even around the world now we have tons of people everyone's getting surgery and trying to play god um with their bodies and faces and and everything right so on a surface level okay yes that goes back to him talking about his surgery but what i looked at and what looked a little bit to me from it was zombies zombies and the brainwashing as i stated but um the the chips this just made me think of like mk ultra like everyone 
is under MK Ultra. Everyone is, um, crap, how do I explain this properly? They all have the mask, it's covering everything, it's covering their mouth for one, they can't speak out, ain't got a voice. Um, it's covering their nose, their head, so it made me think of like transplants, they've been talking about chipping people, we know, what is that man name? Elon Musk was just talking about how he made the, the um, th it was three pigs. He put a chip in all of their brains to where he can link all of them in from a main database, give them thoughts, commands, um, instruction on what to do and stuff like that. Well, they plan and want to do that to mankind, to chip us all and have a hive mind. Now, they are fulfilling that already, loosely, though, through media through um, celebrities, through television, what we hear and see and stuff, and what they, how they choose to shape society, because they are using, of course, um, media, entertainment and stuff to shape society, our beliefs, our ideals, um, what we aspire to and stuff like that. But it's on more so of a loose level, although it's massive. Well, if they put the chips, they have even a more controlled and compact way to definitely control everyone know what we thinking because we got these chips in there it's sending signals and data to this main database and that database is um motherboard is sending back signals and data to us now we're on hive mind um so we can all be controlled with the type of one button programming now then once you go and you see this now, they all were unorganized because they were under the process of being groomed and shaped and controlled. They're all now standing like this, as you see, with him in the middle because he is the ruler. Now, he's representation of Satan um, throughout this performance that he did. He's representation of Satan, the false messiah. Um, so, he is the leader. These are all his minions, those who he has possessed, um, deceived, and has followed him chipped whatever you want to call it so now they're all in order they all are in a hive mind and he is the leader of that hive mind oh i made a mistake and snapped the commercial now it shows him even higher up now he has been elevated see it show him falling down from earth right now he's on the ground he's in the city and he's getting the draw of the masses and um the people now he has fulfilled his job on rallying up all the sheep that he wants to lead. So now he's up in the stars and way over the world now, okay? Just, oh, crap. I'm sorry, y'all. So now what they're showing you, because they go to this scene after that other one. I made a mistake in pit and did that commercial by mistake. But it goes to, he finally has them from out of hysteria, hysteria, and they all are in a high mind now with him in the middle being their leader. Straight to this scene right here. Now he is on top of the world. He's in the stars. This could be um, like the Tower of Baal, which was a tower uh, made in Satan. Go, go read the Bible. Go look up the um, Tower of Baal if you want. But anyway, basically this is a representation that now Satan has been elevated. He came and descended onto the earth and built himself up and now elevated. Which is them also doing a play on um, on Jesus. Right, God sent Jesus down to the earth. Jesus started as a lowly man, a carpenter, born in a um, manger, manger or something like that. And then he built himself up, teaching and through his life works. Once, by the time he got to the age of, um, I'm gonna say thirty, because thirty three was the ending of that um, uh, goal. But so let's say by the time of thirty, he was world known. Jesus was world known. He was magnified. He was lifted up. Well, after he gave his life for our sins, God glorified himself. He will take him back to his former glory and put him above everything else. He raised him up, gave him the kingdoms of the earth and all that type of stuff. So this is Satan basically raising himself up. Now I'm the Messiah. I have all the people of the world following me. And I am above everything and everyone else to be glorified and magnified. And then it showed this. And I was looking at this. Right? Now, this is like a representation of clouds. So, when I seen it, it made me think of clouds and thunder, right? And he has a, showing a moon coming up, 
a whole moon coming up. But then it also made me think of like when you have you ever seen like those black and white um things where show you like the back from let's say like the eighties where the rockets were going off, right? And the smoke that come from that or from a after they show you the bomb and all of the after a bomb drop, a tsunami, whatever. And then all that smoke and fire and gray just go up. It kind of resembled that to me as well. So I'm thinking like, okay, is nuclear something nuclear going on? And what does the moon rising? Oh, right, I forgot. See, in the occult, they worship the moon. Um, so I guess that's indicative of his new world being brought to the light. The underworld bringing part, what they do in secret and dark. Um, now being worldwide, being the norm now. Remember they had to take witchcraft and sorcery and paganism and devil worshiping and stuff underground for the most part. Well, that has already been being normalized. And I guess maybe he's saying, right, after he takes rain, now he's about to do the switch over. So we're now, after he's got everybody hoodwinked and under his control and he's exalted high, now let me bring in my world the way I see it. This demonic world to the top, to the forefront. So that could be indicative of that. I'm not sure. But um, So we're still showing him again, once again, back on top of the world. It's like he's even higher in the stars now from where we think that um, stars. Okay. Oh, and I'm... And then it shows him again at the top of the city, right? These are buildings or whatever. But like I said, to me, they also look like it could do as chips, um, as AI, and even as tombstones. What, is he raising a dead or something? What else? What else? Where's the rest of it? Okay. Then it shows them on the field all of the millions on the field and now he don't just have them organized like before i told you he had them under his control organized and that's what that was indicative of but now what they're showing you is an army when it got down on the field they were showing you an army okay so now he has his army he's coming out in front you see the red um which can be indicative of flames um, bombs. Um, it's a few ways that that could go. But what I am positive about is they are army now. This isn't just his hive where he has put them consciously to sleep and has control over them. This is now an army. And they're marching. It showed them doing the marching part, right? And, um, what's his name? Um, the weekend coming through, he's coming through to the forefront because this is his army. They're going to war and battle for him. Satan has his army just like God does. And now it is showing hysteria. The um, because after it shows them line up right marching, they doing a little marching or whatever with him. And what does the army do? They go to war. So this was indicative in what they were doing of war. Now they're in war, they're in action. Fighting, pandemonium, and all that. When the false messiah come, it will be. It will look like a time of, of peace, time to rejoice. Everything is good, and then before you know it, sudden destruction and war, everywhere. So that's when these, bef um, before we stars, these are bombs because it go from. Oh, wrong way. It goes from them now in war battling so bombs bombs fire oh and then crap i'm mad i didn't get a good picture of this so then the next scene shows all the people where they begin to kind of come around in a circle right but it, it was like as if it was a swirl but it was a six in that swirl and the weekend which is supposed to be satan and this is in the middle and then they are all rejoicing 
they're rejoicing him. It was like a, a moment where they was doing this thing where it was basically like they were bowing to him, praising him after they made the six around him, after they just got out of war for fighting for him. So I guess he seemed to be victorious or whatever. And you see um, where it was like smoke and it showed them more scattered out. And then the next thing you know, did I get a good picture of it? He has put on his final performance. Have you? Do y'all remember them shows where it show you like the um, the person to be doing a performance in a movie, right? They're doing a performance, and the as they get to the end, the louder they get, they get to the apex, and the trumpets is what a climax, and the trumpets is blowing, and all of that. And then that's when everyone dies, or the bomb goes off, or whatever the case may be. That's basically what this had put me in the mind of as it was going on. Like, okay, he's getting to the end now, and as he's getting to his finale, boom, 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 bazooka, 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 total destruction. Now we have the climax of it, and everyone was laid out on the ground. That was the next thing. Everyone was laid out on the ground. So he pit these people, because as I say, where he's a user and deceiver, and he comes seeking whom he can steal, kill, and destroy. He put them under this mind control, under this false um, hope, trust in him. Then he leads them into captivity and, and into um, disaster. Um, uses them to do his bidding. They go to war on his behalf, um, killing the saints, killing innocent people. Um, leading people down, you know, a bad, narrow road. And they enforcing this new world that he has wanted to create. And then um, this grand and big finale goes on of doing his bidding. And he leaves you dead at the end. And that was his whole goal and intention. Because as you see, he has a big smile on his face. His hands are open as these bombs, let's say, uh, um... In Revelations, it said that three-fourths of the world would be destroyed in fire and ash. So, we're talking about bombs, okay? These ain't just the regular type of bombs that you drop. We're talking about, what is the name of those bombs that they have? Nuclear bombs. That's what this was indicated of. Nuclear bombs going off. And saying, like, oh, my destruction. That's what gets him off. Destroying people. That's what gets him off. Hurting God's creation. That's what gets him off. So he like, and now we're here. Da, 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 da. You're all dead. I killed you all. It's nothing good but decay, dead bodies, sadness, weakness. I used you and then killed you. And everyone is now hurt in despair, dead. Everything's destroyed. All right. And that was the end. That was the end. So, that is my Super Bowl 55 The Weekend Performance Review. It was a big ritual. It was um, it was a big, what do you call it? Because what, what they do, these occultists, um, men, kind, who choose to be men for Satan, demons. They know who they worship, who their gods are. Most of them, anyway. Um... When they put on these performances, they do a foreshadowing of what's to come, what they plan to do, who they're working for, how they got there, and stuff like that. And if you are a Weekend fan, if you go back and think about what you've heard him say in his music, and look at the um, symbolism he puts behind it in the videos, he, like he showed you him being buried being buried alive and born again. Like I said, everything is esoteric and esoteric. Um, duality has a surface level and a, a deeper level. He literally, the occult, could have literally buried them, which I do believe that they have. They've done that to people. Um, a young lady who was inside the occult, where she was raised, grew up in the occult and stuff like that. No, they do stuff like that. Torturous means to you. Y'all seen hazing and skull and bones and the type of stuff that they do know um so i believe it was literal but it also meant figuratively of him going into the industry one way 
and then when he made that deal, he was re rebirth. He was killed, and who he was before was killed, and now he is and buried, and now he has come up this new person. And you kind of like the dead, right? Like how in zombie movies, the person, they die, and they die themselves, but then they wake up from the dead, and they're demonic, and they're a zombie. It also meant that as well. I looked at that just in quite a few ways of what he was actually telling us. And if you listen, just like when he showed you in, um, which, which one was it? Where, like, they be showing you, and sometimes subtle, but I guess to me it just be kind of obvious ways of the rituals that they've done. Um, the things that's been done to them, the things that they have done themselves, and where they um, got to now. So, just check it out. Be careful. I do not watch movies or listen to music just like on a entertainment basis, surface level I soak in. I normally look at it and listen to it. What exactly are you trying to tell me? Because it's all for a reason, you guys. Every picture every word every look um that you see it has a meaning behind it and it's normally sinister um they are downloading things on our subconscious daily that we overlook consciously but it's better than our subconscious and it shows up and it's having an effect on us so when i watch and listen and look at stuff i do it with trying to see what's going on what's really going on here concerning spiritually as well as naturally you know concerning good and evil um and as well as what type of predictive programming are you trying to prepare us for mostly everything that you see and hear them talk about um and do in movies whether they call it fantasy or anything like that it is normally something they're already doing plan to do um, what they are doing right now. It, it's just so much going to it. The spiritual, what Satan doing. In a lot of these movies, what they are depicting to you in um, videos, what they're depicting, depicting to you is demons and angels. Is Satan and Jesus. Um, it, it's, it's just so much. But I decided to break that one down. Tell me what you guys see, what you think about it. Hopefully I explained it well because I had noticed from starting to make videos and stuff that sometimes what's in my head and what I'm thinking, I don't think I always verbalize or express the way that I intend to. So let me know if I was able to convey the message that I was trying to to you correctly or not. I appreciate the feedback. Have a great day.